Aloha. I'm your Minivan Dyken MD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people just like you obtain and maintain optimum health. Today, I am so very excited to share what I'm learning about nitric oxide. I've talked about nitric oxide in the past, even made a few videos dedicated just to that topic. I'll link them in the description below. In the most recent video I posted, we talked about nitric oxide being used as a treatment and preventative agent in the battle against COVID-19. Of course, big disclaimer, this is all under investigation, but nitric oxide is looking very promising. It's received emergency FDA approval in the treatment of COVID-19, and there are multiple phase three clinical trials underway evaluating nitric oxide delivery devices. Today, we're gonna talk about endogenous nitric oxide or nitric oxide that we make in our own bodies. Is it good enough? Can we get the same concentrations of nitric oxide in our nasal passages as we would if we inhaled nitric oxide gas? If so, exactly how can we achieve these concentrations? I've got a whole video on endogenous nitric oxide where I discuss the generation of nitric oxide using techniques like nasal breathing and something called humming. For more details on the actual manufacture of endogenous nitric oxide, check out that video. It's linked below. Nitric oxide is generated in the nose during nasal breathing. The paranasal sinuses actually happen to be a major natural reservoir of nitric oxide in the human body. Research has shown that we can increase our nasal nitric oxide content by humming. One study even showed that during humming, nasal nitric oxide output increased 15 times in comparison to silent breathing. Nitric oxide concentrations went from 17 ppm up to 252 ppm. Let's briefly review the studies that are investigating inhaled nitric oxide for the treatment or prevention of COVID-19. Investigators are using inhaled nitric oxide at a concentration of 150 to 250 parts per million. Remember, humming has been shown to increase nitric oxide concentrations up to 250 parts per million, similar concentrations. So yes, all of this is conceptual, but if we can increase nitric oxide concentrations on our own by humming, couldn't we be doing something that could potentially prevent a COVID-19 infection? Or if we were to get COVID-19, couldn't we use our own endogenous nitric oxide to potentially minimize the severity of the illness? I certainly think it would be worth a try. But if we're gonna try this humming technique, for how long should we do it? How do we do it? And at what effect will it really start making a difference? The investigational studies, one in particular being done at Massachusetts General Hospital, is delivering 150 parts per million of inhaled nitric oxide for 15 minutes at the beginning and the end of the shifts of healthcare workers. It seems to make sense that 15 minutes of humming twice daily may be a good place to start until we have more data on the matter. So how do we hum? Can we just hum any old tune? <laughs> I mean, sure you can, but not if you wanna maximize your nitric oxide levels. Research has shown that humming at a frequency of 130 Hertz is the best frequency to raise nitric oxide concentrations the most. Something like this. I'm not an expert on this, but reference charts say that 130 Hertz is closest to the C3 key on a piano. Do, a uh, dear. You wanna know another thing it's close to? Something called bee breath in the yoga world or Brahmari Pranayama. Just search YouTube for bee breath and you'll find many instructional videos on the topic. Well, that wraps it up for today's discussion. I hope you found this information empowering, useful, and practical. As for me, I've already adopted a twice daily humming habit. Hopefully you will too. Links to the references used in this video are in the description below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna show us some real support, subscribe. We love hearing from you, so please comment below with your thoughts on the video and questions you may have regarding the information provided. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy, and aloha.